Lecture we talked about mathematical treatment of Fermi theory, and we start in this way that if we say that this is a radioactive nucleus, and this radioactive nucleus emits beta particles, and it changes into a daughter nucleus. If beta particles have energies in the range. they have energies in the range t plus delta t then the probability of nuclei which change from parent nuclei to daughter nuclei through beta decay in unit time are we can write relation for decay probability we write decay probability pt is equal to g scale m scale f as a function of z and t into t plus m naught c scale into t scale plus 2 m naught c scale t whole power half into t naught minus t whole scale dt this is equation 1 here pt dt gives the decay probability of the reaction g g is a natural constant g is a natural constant and actually its value gives its value gives the strength of interaction other term is if we see this relationship f as a function of z and t f it is fermi function And this Fermi function determines that what is effect of nucleus coulombic field on beta particles which are coming out from nucleus. Here in this term Z is the atomic number and T is kinetic energy of, at, of beta particle at any instant. M, M is the nuclear matrix. element and this gives probability of beta decay t is energy kinetic energy at any instant of time and t not total energy available and m naught is rest mass of electron or beta particle when these all factors combine they give us total probability we can simplify this equation by making two changes and these changes are for low values of mean lifetime for low values of mean lifetime tau which is total lifetime per unit original number of atoms we can make two changes first change is that we put f is equal to 1 and second change is that m which is nuclear matrix element if it is independent of energy independent of energy if we make two changes we can simplify this equation and 
the result is that dt is equal to g dash square into t plus m naught c square which shows kinetic energy t square plus 2 m naught c square t whole power half which is momentum of meter particle into t naught minus t square into dt which is equation 2. Now we can see that here g dash g dash is a new constant it is constant in this equation when we make these two changes and we get a simplified relationship and we see that uh, equation 2 shows that for t is equal to 0 and also for t equal to t naught decay probability approaches to 0 because when t is equal to 0 we see that this term t diffuse to 0 and when t is equal to t naught then this term becomes equal to 0. For values of t between 0 and t naught for for values of t between 0 and t naught p t decay probability is positive and if we plot p t versus t then we get this spectrum this graph t energy of beta particle and decay probability pt we get this graph here probability is maximum maximum beta particle are coming with this energy here energy t is equal to 0 and energy maximum t is equal to t naught and we see that uh, it is same curve as we have obtained earlier actually this is theoretical expression and uh, previously a curve was obtained that was experimental curve here it is theoretical curve and we see that in this case theory and experiment come into good agreement now we move to calculate the total decay rate yes students now we obtain relationship for total decay rate which is lambda and we see that if lambda is disintegration constant and tau is mean lifetime for radioactive element which is total lifetime per unit original number of atoms then we can integrate already obtained equation 1 and equation 2 for possible values of kinetic energy in that case we get lambda and tra if we do so in this way that lambda is equal to 1 over tau integral 0 to t naught which is maximum energy t dt this is equation 3 solving this equation it is found that lambda is proportional to fifth power of total energy which is t naught 
so we can say that lambda is proportional to k t naught bar 5 if we take log taking log log of lambda is equal to log of k plus 5 log of t naught that's equation 4 now if we plot log of t naught against log of lambda we get this curve log of t in t in electron volt and log of lambda in this direction the graph between log of t and log of lambda the curve obtained is this one this is called sergeant curve and it is same as obtained in case of geiger nuttall law if we assume that nuclear matrix element m square it is independent of energy so it is constant and in that case we can write relation for lambda square square 0 to t naught f z t into t plus m naught c square into 2 m naught c square plus t square which is momentum into t naught minus t square dt integral in this equation is a function of z and t naught so can be represented by a function this integral can be represented by a function f z t naught which is called Fermi integral Fermi integral and in that case lambda is equal to 1 over tra is equal to g square m square f z t naught or f into tra is equal to 1 over g square m square this was a discussion for total decay rate goodbye